Hey, it's Sean Cowell, your 2020 vision, co-creating breakthroughs and dreams, crushing fear and distortion. Have just wrapped up with Dan Geltrude, hello. Have just wrapped up 22 out of 24 days on the road and back in the great state of New Jersey. Dan, how are you, brother? I'm great, Sean. Okay. Great to have you back. Thank you. Dan is America's accountant. We're about to go in and see Tony Robbins at the New Jersey Real Estate Expo, right? right. And a, a fantastic and wonderful client of yours, in fact, what is their relationship to the Expo Center? Well, they, they own the New Jersey Exposition and Convention Center, so. Well, well that's a relationship. <laughs> yeah. They own it. They like, own it, yes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, oh, amazing. So, we were having an awesome conversation, and Dan appears. How many times do you think you've been on national television, ballpark? hundred. Okay, hundred times. And you were just on for an hour straight. Longest yeah. you've ever been. Right. right. I was on an hour straight yesterday right. on uh, Fox News. So if you'd like to learn how to get on television and be on for an hour, this is a man that you can model and learn from. And and I learned many things from Dan. But we're having a really cool conversation uh, with Dan because he, like many, wants more money and less time with more magic. Fair? That's fair. Okay. So what were some of the things that were present for you today? You said some pretty neat things. And let's take it from there. Well, when uh, are you talking about while I was in the uh, convention center watching, no. or just oh, our we, oh, there's plenty to talk about that. <laughs> so we'll get. Well, how about we come back to that? So we're okay. going to talk about how you present from the stage and some dynamics that were happening. But yes, good. So, so about so, us well, and yeah, well, yeah. we're having this great conversation, and and I'm very proud to say that I've asked Sean to coach me, and he's agreed to do that, and I started explaining. You know what my business life is like and literally in minutes he's totally tearing it down and rebuilding it literally seconds not even minutes this guy's ability to understand not just business it's that he understands people he goes behind the words as I'm explaining things to Sean I could see he understands exactly where I'm coming from and he's not just nodding his head he's participatory breaking things down and building it up I've never seen anything like it before boom thank you and here watch this guy so think of this this is a coaching moment in service of you because we all have this so Dan's talking I'm like what is it and I know Dan for quite a while and he's an amazing person and he has very successful clients and works with family offices and huge businesses and yes you know, guys playing a big game in the world and and we we're talking about accelerating the number of sales meetings that he's having new potential client meetings and as we're doing it I'm like so let me, let me ask you what's like your biggest value that you add to a client like your unique identity heroically and, and wonderfully, and Dan's brilliant, you know, wrote this incredible book, Financial Karma. He's articulate, he has Zeus energy power. And he starts sharing with me, he's like, you know, succession planning and, you know, the ability to blah, blah, blah. And, and I'm like, that's good, right? That's good. But like, what do you really, like, what magnetically would draw people? And he goes into a conversation about people in his office. So what's more attractive and sexy to you, right? Dan's an accountant. What does that word mean to you? For to me, it's like, right, like, right, just like saying you're a lawyer. It's like, or more like la, like gross, right? So words have power. And then if we start talking about taxes and putting things in the right places and categorization, and in fact, he was training his team about not communicating that way. And then he said to me, "Here's what I do, and what is it that you do?" I minimize taxes, maximize profitability. Four words. That's it. Yeah. And then. There's plenty of story after that, but that lands, like minimize, I, I wanna to talk to a dude who minimizes taxes, maximizes profitability. So as you think about how you're presenting yourself, and I wanna just drop this piece in for everybody, the short four words is so powerful. It's the title of who you are, what you do, and bring to the world. But what also has to go on then is the unique identity stories behind it. He has many, like think of the credibility boost when you go, yeah, I've been on national television, a hundred times that's powerful man like how many people do you know that have been on national television a hundred times I certainly don't know many and you're on regularly and they bring you back so that says that edifies you it, it adds that social proof credibility an authoritative source that says you know what yeah this dude is for real and there's plenty more saying you wrote the book financial karma so you go from somebody who minimizes taxes maximizes pre uh, profitability it's been on national television a hundred times, Zeus, 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 and wrote Financial Karma because he loves people, has empathy, and is free to bet. 
And there's a beautiful balance in that story. That's like the 30 second version. Then there's the five minute version for the extended conversation, but they should always be balancing that Zeus. Dan's got a lot of Zeus energy, a lot of power, but the financial karma piece in his heart and freeing Tibet, that brings out that, that goddess, emotional, inclusive, flowing side, that is a hugely critical factor of balancing energy. Make sense, Dan? Makes total sense, Makes Sean. sense to you out there. And then finally, talking about public speaking, what was your reaction to what you were hearing this morning and what was going on? Well, there was a lot of good information, but the thing that I felt more than anything, how much are you going to sell me? Sell me. Sell me. It's a constant sales pitch. I, I literally was getting sick of it, and I was telling Sean about it. I say, you know, there's a lot of good information, but do you have to sell me constantly like yeah. that? And so, so takeaway is that sales energy is like Zeus energy, like like decision, take, right? The goddess energy is what creates rapport. It creates flow, inclusion, and connection. And so I was explaining then, if you gave me five minutes with every speaker that came up there today, I guaranteed I can increase what their sales actually were by two to 500% in five minutes. Because for most of them, there's a gross, so if you're a speaker and you're taking the stage, there's a gross imbalance when you're spending 80% of your time selling and 20% content delivery. Deliver massive value. By the way, who would I learn this from? Oh, Tony Robbins, who's about to get up there and be in wild contrast to everyone else because he is gonna deliver insane value to people, touch and move them emotionally, give them takeaway value, and then he'll probably sell for 2% at most, if at all, of his time up there. And that's how you deliver from the stage, impact people and give first, and then have people wanna work with you more. Make sense, Dan? Makes total sense, Sean. Brother, we are gonna go and do amazing things together. I am so appreciative of the plans that we're laying out, but most importantly, the alignment of why. You care, you deliver, you have empathy, you're here to be a force for good in the world, and that aligns with what I'm up to. And for you out there, hope this is a, some great takeaways today in terms of balancing Zeus and goddess energy, realizing even with a brilliant, successful person like this, how rapidly there's access to more money in less time with more magic. And hey, we're all just learning to see. We're gonna go see Tony Robbins for a little bit. Take care.